Hello everyone and welcome. Today we're going to talk about the anatomy of the brachial plexus. So the brachial plexus is a network of nerves that provide all the somatic innervation and some sympathetic innervation to the upper limb. So if we get here an image of the brachial plexus, we can see that it originates in the root of the neck and runs to the axilla. And we also have the axillary artery running along the brachial plexus. So this image is just so you have an idea of where the plexus is located in your body. Now, if we look here at this image, it is very complicated. You see that there is a bunch of nerves coming off of this plexus. Uh, however, we will explain this, break this down, make it much simpler. So, the first thing that we can see is that you can divide the brachial plexus into roots, trunks, divisions, cords, and branches. A good mnemonic to remember these divisions is remember to drink cold beer. So the R in remember is for roots, T for trunks, D for divisions, C for cords, and B for branches, which are terminal branches or could also be called uh, terminal nerves. So now let's focus here on each division. Um, so if you have a look here at the roots, we're gonna have the anterior rami of C5, C6, C7, C8, and T1. They're going to form the roots of the brachial plexus. So C5 and C6 are going to come together to form the superior trunk. C7 is just gonna run on, it on its own to form the middle trunk. And then C8 and T1 will form the inferior trunk. So C5 and C6, superior trunk, C7 alone, middle trunk, C8 and T1, inferior trunk. Now, each one of these trunks are going to be divided into two divisions. So we're gonna have the anterior and the posterior division. The anterior shown here in yellow, uh, while the posterior division is shown in brown. And these divisions are going to give rise to cords. So we have the lateral cord, the posterior cord, and the medial cord. So if we have a look here at the posterior cord, it is going to be formed by the posterior division of each trunk. So the superior, middle, and inferior trunks are going to give a posterior division that are going to form the posterior cord. Now the lateral cord is formed by the anterior division of the superior and middle trunks. The medial cord, on the other hand, is just formed by the anterior division of the inferior trunk, just a continuation. Now these cords are named um, according to their position relative to the brachial artery. So the posterior cord runs posteriorly to the brachial artery, the medial cord medially, and the lateral cord laterally. And from these cords, we're gonna have the terminal branches or terminal nerves. In this picture, we have many nerves. However, there are a few nerves that we will focus on this video. So, one of these are, is the musculocutaneous nerve, the median nerve, the ulnar nerve, the radial nerve, and the axillary nerve. So if we look here, the brachial plexus has this characteristic M that's very prominent, and it is um, a landmark you can find in an anatomical prosection or dissection, and it, it will help you locate the other nerves. So in this M here, uh, remember that the musculocutaneous nerve is the most lateral, it is a branch of the lateral cord. Then you have the median nerve, which is formed by the junction of the lateral cord with the medial cord. And then we have the ulnar nerve coming off of the medial cord. Now, uh, the posterior cord will give off the axillary nerve and the radial 
nerve. So here we have a little summary of the terminal branches. Have that the musculocutaneous nerve leaving from the lateral cord, the medial nerve from the lateral and medial cords, the ulnar nerve from the medial cord, and then the radial and auxiliary nerves both uh, branch off of the posterior cord. Now here are some questions to make sure you've understood. Uh, feel free to pause the video um, to think of your answer. The anterior rami of which spinal cord segments form the brachial plexus? Which spinal cord segments form the superior trunk? The musculocutaneous nerve comes from which cord? The ulnar nerve comes from which cord? So this is the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, uh, please leave a like and subscribe.